This video is going to show how to load an MA60AC three-piece intraocular lens into a B cartridge. A B cartridge is bigger than a D cartridge, which you can use with a single-piece intraocular lens. First, you'll want to fill the cartridge with viscoelastic to reach the back edge of the cartridge. Then, place a few drops of BSS over the intraocular lens. Then, grasp the intraocular lens at the haptic-optic junction. And confirm the orientation of the intraocular lens with the picture on the back of the cartridge. Make sure it's in a backwards S configuration. Place the intraocular lens in the cartridge. Put your tips together and gently push down into the depression of the cartridge. Then advance the intraocular lens until the trailing haptic locks at this posterior fixation tab. Place the cartridge tabs into the grooves and push forward until it locks in place. Then push the plunger forward until it meets the thread and turn the screw a couple times to lock it in place. Now we will discuss the proper insertion of a three-piece lens in the sulcus. First, we fill the sulcus with a cohesive viscoelastic. This allows proper positioning of the lens. You may need to enlarge your wound to fit the B cartridge. Place the tip of the cartridge bevel side down into the wound. You will need to insert the whole cartridge tip into the chamber. Next, rotate the cartridge clockwise such that the bevel is facing left. This allows the leading haptic to exit the cartridge in the proper orientation. You will then guide the leading haptic into the sulcus as you inject the lens. As the optic comes out of the cartridge, you will begin to rotate the cartridge in a counterclockwise fashion. The bevel should be facing down as the main part of the optic comes out of the cartridge. This will allow proper orientation of the lens optic. Once the optic is in the eye, you will stop with the injection and unscrew the injector. Continue rotating the bevel such that it is facing to the right, again in a counterclockwise fashion. This allows the trailing haptic to also be positioned properly outside the eye. Finally, place the trailing haptic in the sulcus, either with a lens forcep or with a Sinsky hook. Alternatively, you can dial the lens around and guide the trailing haptic into the sulcus. If one desires to perform optic capture, it can be done at this point. Finally, viscoelastic will be removed with the irrigation aspiration handpiece. This video demonstrates how to fold a three-piece intraocular lens in preparation for injecting it into the eye. We're using an MA60 AC lens and the power is 11.5 diopters. You can drop a few drops of BSS onto the surface. Then using IOL forceps, you can grasp the intraocular lens at the optic-haptic junction. And as you can see, the haptics are in a backwards S configuration. You use these forceps that have the little tabs right here to grasp the edge of the optic. Then gently push the forceps together and it will fold the intraocular lens in half. Then use the second forceps to re-grasp the intraocular lens 